Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. My name is Hippo TC, and welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. In this video, I'm going to break down what is coming in Season 6 for Sea of Thieves and give you the everything you need to know version so you know what to expect. Season 6 is here, and with it comes quite a bit of new things we have to look forward to. Let's start with the most obvious. In Season 6, they have added new forts that are accessible by all pirates sailing the seas. From what we know, these new forts are defended by phantoms and are designed to be easier and faster than regular forts. Rare also mentions their hope for these forts is to help pirates who are short on time to get some treasure quickly. They also said these forts are, quote, on demand, which I can only guess means that at any time you can approach a fort and it will quote activate for you and your crew once completed you will get a key to the treasure room and it looks like if you do have some extra time on your hands you should look around the cupboards around the fort as they could have some treasure stashed away as well one thing i'm looking forward to is that i think these new forts open up a whole new set of opportunity for content and experiences you can invite your crew to party it up at the fort or more likely set the fort up for a fort defense or a king of the hill type of scenario lots of opportunities and honestly as a CFD's partner I get access to a custom server and very much looking forward to utilizing these for some discord events in the future. In addition to the new forts we get a tease on a new pirate legend voyage that will become available to us in the second half of season six. These new voyages are promised to be a bit different every time you do them and the storyline for these voyages will also help us understand a bit more about the ancients who sailed the seas long before us pirates ever did. Needless to say I think Captain Falcor is going to have a field day with them. When the voyages do drop in season six, I will make sure to have a full guide walking you through them and how to complete them and best practices and all of that stuff. So if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, now is the time to do it so you are notified when I drop the new videos, especially this guide video. Anyways, it is kind of a bummer that these will not be available to us until halfway in the season, but I do love that Rare is kind of dripping the content to us, giving us something to look forward to, which I'm happy for. It just kind of keeps the seas feeling a little bit alive. Now, on top of all this, we also get 100 new levels to unlock that are free to everyone. These new levels and cosmetics look awesome and have a total Spanish sailor vibe to them and the ship cosmetics as well. And on top of that, if you are a pirate legend you get bell's hat and a really awesome looking pirate legend sword which looks freaking cool and as all the sword lords out there like myself we're excited for that one we also have the paid plunder pass that will have some unique looking cosmetics and costumes for you to unlock and in addition to the plunder pass we also get quite a bit of new stuff in the pirate emporium things that look great and honestly the ship cosmetic might be one of the best ship cosmetics released into the sea of thieves absolutely it looks awesome has this really cool flame at the front you can also purchase a costume that matches this ship set and something i did notice in the preview video is that it does look like it lights up at night which is quite terrifying but also really freaking cool we also have some pretty sharp looking emissary ledger rewards now i am personally excited for season six and looking forward to the new forts new unlocks and the new adventure that will be coming up soon too i love the direction of how these seasons are dripping content to us and it makes me feel like the seas are changing and they are changing fast what do you think let me know in the comments below or stop by my twitch and let me know there i would love to know what you guys are thinking and with that being said i will see you scurvy dogs out on the seas